Hey guys, how are you today? Today I'm here with my next installment of my indie makeup brand reviews. Now, if you guys like indie kind of videos, I do have a series going with these. This is actually only my second video in the series, but I'll put the first one up here on the eye and then also I'll link it down in the description box below. But today we're gonna be talking about Syzygy Cosmetics. I have an eyeshadow palette from them and some lip products from them. We're gonna be reviewing them. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look using the products and all of that. So if you guys are excited for that, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Now, let's get to it. Okay, this one was a brand that I was really excited for because not only do they have their own website, but they're also sold on Amazon so you guys can get the two-day shipping. How many times can I say that I love, love Amazon two-day shipping? I do way too much shopping on Amazon simply because I can get the two-day shipping. <laughs> so I actually got the Comet Crush Chameleon Glow Eyeshadow Palette, and then I also got some lip products from them. Let's go ahead and talk about the palette first. First of all, look at this amazing packaging. Isn't that so cool? I just think that's like some of the coolest packaging I've ever seen in an eyeshadow palette. I think it's stunning. But inside you get six duochrome eyeshadows. I love duochrome shadows. They're some of my favorites because they're so versatile. So you get six shadows in here, but you could use the shadows by themselves or you could put them on top of a white base to get a different color. You could put them on top of a black base to get a different color, a purple base, a green base. Depending what base color you put on your lid is going to depend what color you get with the shadows. So I think that's what makes this palette so cool is that you're getting six shades in here, but really you get so much more because of the way that these shadows are. These two shadows here are more gonna be like a duochrome topper that you can put on top of another shadow. They're not gonna have a lot of opacity on their own, but they do have a beautiful duochrome shift to them. I'm gonna have swatches up on the screen so you can see a picture, but let's just go ahead and do live swatches. So we're gonna start with Mock Moon, which is a very sheer color, as you guys can see. It's gonna be white, but has shifts of purple and pink in it. So you're not gonna be able to see it a lot on the hand because it really is just meant to be sort of like, you could use it as a highlighter. I use this one on the inner corner just very, very lightly today. Um, and that's what that one looks like. So then the next one is gonna be Phosphine. Hopefully I'm saying that right. The one that has like the gray and gold in it. So you guys can see again, not super pigmented, but it's more of just like a topper shade. And then you get this green color, which is one of my favorites in the palette that has shifts of gold in it. I'm trying to figure out how to swatch this for you guys and still like show you. So there you have the green with shifts of gold. And then these are super, super buildable too. So there you see one swatch was there. This is two swatches of that green. It really does build up beautifully on the lid. Okay, and so then you have this one, which is gonna be like burgundy and coppery and gold all in one. It's absolutely stunning. Again, one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at swatches, you guys know. <laughs> then we have, what did I say, Nebula. So this one's gonna be purple with little shifts of pink in it and blue. It's got shifts of pink and blue in it or like burgundy and blue, I don't know. They're just very, very interesting shadows. Oh, so, so those three shadows there are my all-time favorites. They're so stunning. And then the last one is Nova, which is going to be more like a brown with little hints of green and gold in it. Depending on which way you kind of spin it, you get different colors. Hopefully you guys can see all the shifts of color that you're getting in these. These are absolutely stunning, you guys. And the shadows are very, very smooth. It's almost got that wet feeling that you guys know I love in a shadow where you're really gonna be able to see the pigment. They're gonna blend really easily and they're just gonna look stunning on the eyes. And again, they build beautifully. This is a stunning palette and I'm so excited to have it in my collection. Okay, now let's talk about the lip products. So I actually have two of their products. They're liquid lipsticks. And as you can see, you get a duochrome shift with these as well. The one that I'm wearing right now is the shade Twilight Tavern. So this lip color, you get kind of a burgundy tone again, like burgundy pink but then you get shifts of purple in there. So that's what made me want to go with like the burgundy eye and then put the purple in the center. It is just absolutely stunning, this lip color. I've tried metallic lips before and this is so different from a, a metallic lip. I think that's what I was expecting, but this is so different because you're getting the shifts of different colors in there. So depending on which way I turn my lips, that's what I'm gonna get. And when I'm kind of straight on looking at myself, 
I do have like the center here that just looks purple and it just is so cool to me. And the next shade I have is Chatoyant Stone. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. But this one is gonna match that last eyeshadow that I showed you guys. So there's that one. So you can see there's like shifts of brown, but then gold and a little bit of green in there. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. I really hope it does. Very, very cool color. That one's one that I would wear more like in the fall and winter, but it is just so unique. I don't have anything at all like these lip colors. And so I'm just really excited to have these in my collection. This is one of those formulas that's really comfortable to wear where you're not gonna feel it on your lips at all. Like I don't feel anything at all on my lips. That's my favorite kind of thing. I don't wanna feel it <laughs> unless it's a gloss. And they're also very thin, but very opaque. So actually these are my exact favorite formula of lipstick. You guys know I talk about all the time how I want companies to be a little bit more creative. I want them to come up with more unique ideas with their makeup. And I feel like that's exactly what this company did. Obviously, my favorite is the eyeshadows because I'm just an eyeshadow junkie. I have a way, way, way too many shadows and I just love them. This is one of the coolest, most unique shadow palettes that I own. I love this palette. And then if you just want something really different and really unique for the lips, highly recommend these lip colors. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the products. If you guys wanna see the tutorial that I created using these products, let's go ahead and get to it. All right guys, so you could totally just create a one look or one shadow look with this palette and you know, just take one of the shadows, put it all over your lid and call it a day. But I think I wanna mix and match it with something today just so you guys can see you know, mixed with other shadows, what you can create with this. So I'm going to take my Bad Habit Aphrodite palette. I'm just gonna take the shade Blushing. We're gonna use that as our transition color. All right, we're gonna take a smaller blending brush and the shade Lust, which is that red toned shade. And with that one, we're placing it in the crease as well, but not going quite as high up as we did with the last one. We're going to take it a little bit lower, and then we're going to take it on the inner and outer corner. Now we can go in with the lid shade, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this shade right here. It leans a little bit purple and blue, but then also has a little hint of pink in there. It's a really beautiful shade. And then I'm just going to start on the middle of the lid. I really want most of the intensity of the purple to be on the middle of the lid, but I really am just gonna take it almost to the inner and outer corner, but not quite. So it's kind of like a halo eye, but we're going a little bit more inward and outward <laughs> than we normally would with a halo eye. All right, I'm gonna add some lashes really quick and then we'll be back with the lower lash line. Okay, so I did go ahead and do my brows, my lashes, and my liner. All I did was line up here so that you wouldn't see the lash line and then a little bit down here on the waterline as well. And then I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of that same red color mixed with the pink color and take that on the lower lash line. I think I wanna take a little bit of the purple on top of it just because I don't really like the way the lower lash line is looking like that by itself. we're going to take a little bit of this white shade right here. This one's going to have hints of purple in it, so we're going to put it on the inner corner. All right, that's pretty much going to be it for the eyes, and now we can go in with our lips, and I think the shade I want to use is Twilight Tavern. All right, guys, that's going to be it. That's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.